everyone, I'm here today with Dr. Natasha Sharma, uh, author of the Kindness Journal, TEDx speaker, and emotional fitness expert. Natasha, thanks so much for being here. Thank today. you for having me. So um, today we're going to talk about the dangers of burnout. So how can how do we start to recognize this uh, in ourselves? Well, so burnout is essentially a state of chronic stress, meaning it's excessive amounts of stress. And as human beings, we all experience stress. Mm -hmm. It's a normal part of our lives. But the thing about burnout is that it is an incredibly large amount of stress in the body and emotionally. And I think there's a couple of important things to say about burnout. Um, it's something that is frequently talked about and people know about it, and particularly as it pertains to the workplace and their jobs. Mm -hmm. But what, there's two main points, I think, that often go unknown about burnout and the number one thing is that it doesn't happen quickly it's something that actually happens very slowly over time so it can really sort of it's like almost a silent creeper it creeps up mm. on you a little bit a little bit every day and uh, until you wake up to the point where you might actually realize that this is actually a state of burnout that uh, you've reached and the second thing about burnout that i think is important is that when people think about it, they think of it as being completely exhausted, okay. you know, totally overtired, you know, the sort of celebrity burnout, if you will. We right. hear a lot about Hollywood celebrities, you know, quote unquote, being burnt out. And they Going might be, they and, might yeah. be, but they often talk about chronic fatigue. Mm -hmm. But there's actually a lot of other symptoms and signs of burnout that aren't readily known. So I think that's the second very important thing to talk about. So what are some of those signs um, that you're approaching burnout? So there's sort of three main categories. Okay. And they fall into basically number one is emotional and physical symptoms. Okay. The second one would be feelings of excessive negativity and detachment. Okay. And then the third one would be um, sort of feelings of apathy mm -hmm. and worthlessness. Mm. So, or, or feeling like you aren't really accomplishing things in your life or sort of having a lack of meaning or purpose. Okay. These are the three main things. But people don't usually think of the second and the third. They connect with the first one. Okay, emotional and physical. Right. But it's the other two that people often experience and they don't realize that they're actually approaching burnout. Interesting. So what kind of people are susceptible to burnout? I think pretty much anybody is. If you okay. really think about it, almost anybody at any age can reach a state of burnout in today's environment. And let me explain why. The pace at which we live in is the fastest it's ever been. And every mm -hmm. day or every week that goes by is faster than the last one. But the interesting thing is that as the pace of our society and the way, the speed at which it moves mm -hmm. has increased, our brain's processing speed, so if this is, if this is society, the pace of society, mm -hmm. and it's increased like this and it continues to increase, the speed at which we process and respond to that environment has not increased to the same degree, not even oh, close. Interesting. So what does that mean? It means cognitive overload for our brains and stress for everybody. So almost anyone is at risk, but there are definitely certain groups of people who are at higher risk for burnout. And these include um, people like new parents mm -hmm. or parents of very young children high school students and college university students because of the kind of well because of the kind of workload and the kind of um, emotional pressure that they may be putting on themselves uh, and people in certain kinds of professions may, of course may be at higher risk than others right so for example people per potentially in banking and finance mm -hmm. where they require very long hours um, startups you know entrepreneurs uh, tech people in tech right uh, and also people in the healthcare profession and or any service profession because if you think of right. healthcare and service they're part of their role in their work and mine including mine is to give so much of yourself emotionally and cognitively there's no sort of ability to zone out typically when you're working in those kinds of professions right so they're at high risk for burnout and anyone who is sort of considered a high achiever because okay. high achievers tend to make goals and pile things on and fill any empty space with more stuff to do. <laughs> right, right. No, it totally makes sense. Thanks so much for all this. It was amazing content. Thanks Absolutely. again for being here with me today. Thank you.